Well, this is odd, isn't it? Just being out. It's like being back to normal for a morning. You're back at Westminster, having a pop at the Tories. It's like nothing ever happened. Dominic Cummings. Do Dominic Cummings' statement. Dominic Cummings. <clears throat> Properly and lawfully. Properly and lawfully. Dominic Cummings. Um, if, if he did behave properly and lawfully, then uh, OK. But that means the government's entire corona strategy is nonsensical, because I thought I understood it. It seems straightforward to me, but, you know, clearly I was mistaken. And I'm not thick, you know? And, and I'm also not one of these people who are, tell me what to do. I'm just a sheep and I can't think for myself. Tell me what to do. I know what to do. All right, I thought I did. Stay at home. Especially if you're pretty sure you got fucking COVID. And that's what I did. And it's been fucking horrible. Now, Dominic Cummings is a populist twat who looks like a tortoise's head is emerging from a shell suit. But that has got nothing to do with it. This isn't just Ramona's revenge at the architect of Brexit. For my part, that has got nothing to do with it. It, it has a little bit to do with it. Yes, yes, the reason people are having a hard time giving Dominic Cummings the benefit of the doubt is it's Dominic Cummings. And yes, the British press, who aren't exactly known for their class, unable to contain their glee, they smelt blood and managed on more than one occasion to give Dominic Cummings the moral high ground. Dicks. So, let's just allow Cummings this. He is a, a human being, presumably, dealing with a highly unusual, unprecedented personal and professional situation. OK, why no apology? Why no humility? Why no hint of a suggestion from anyone running the country that this confuses the issue at least just a little bit? I'm not angry because this is the fucker that gave us Brexit and put Boris in number 10. I'm not actually that angry at what this prick actually did. I'm angry at the hypocrisy and the lack of humility in the government's response. I'm angry that should we get a second wave and we have to lock down again, this gives a lot of twats, a lot of reasons not to bother, because why the fuck should they? I'm angry at the way all the cabinet all rallied round with a pre-prepared, oven-ready tweet. It's perfectly reasonable to want to care for your own children. Really? Fuck you, you patronising bastards. Essentially, if you were in the same boat as Cummings and you decided to stick to the common interpretation of the rules and stay at home, then you are not a good parent. This guy was so concerned for his kid's welfare, he locked it in a car for four hours with a COVID-19 sufferer. Any reasonable person would have done the same. I'm angry that the government's advice appears to have changed from wash your hands to stay at home to check if you're going blind by operating heavy machinery on public roads, like some pisshead going, well, I'm not sure if I'm safe to drive, but there's only one way to find out. Come on, kids. We're going for a drive. Any reasonable person would have done the same. I didn't. I haven't seen my son in nine weeks. I haven't seen my mother in three months. Although she wants a fucking Zoom conversation every three fucking minutes. People have missed funerals. They have died alone. Terminally ill people are spending what precious time they have left on their own. They have managed. And yet Cummings, with his lovely townhouse and his 4 by 4 cuntmobile, he couldn't manage. So he had to drive to a cottage on his father's estate. Fine, because he cares about his children, as opposed to us lot, who clearly don't give a fuck. Look at us all staying indoors, protecting the NHS, saving lives. Bullshit! We're all in it together. Bullshit! Clap the NHS. Fuck off. Fund the NHS. Still, it's nice to be outdoors, isn't it? Well, there's an odd atmosphere in Westminster today. Almost feels like everything's back to normal. The goodwill between the UK government and its citizens has been eroded. Many MPs from across the divide have privately discussed their...